Real men don't use loser cases or loser keyboards. Where the viewing five fingers are at. Nice day break. Yo, check out this concrete building. The nice brutalist design. Honestly, I think brutalism is a little bit ugly, but uh, this one, I mean, at least it's a statement piece. Ain't, ain't finna go nowhere, nowhere soon. Okay, so uh, some uh, <clears throat> some quick morning thoughts. Uh, oh, it's kind of a interesting image. What does it mean? What everyone wants to look like. Okay, so uh, walking versus bicycling. So I think from a a funsies perspective, I mean, riding a bike is just plain fun. I mean. Jefferson National. Um, I think riding a bicycle is just plain fun. A lot of people, the reason they ride bicycles, like everyone thinks it's like, they justify it. They justify spending trillions of dollars on bicycles because they say it's quote, quote, uh, good exercise. But I actually don't think it's good exercise. I think it's, um, I mean, any sort of thing that you're sitting on your butt is probably not good for you. Uh, bicycles. You're sitting on butt, not good. But I think riding a bike is just fun and it's just an easier and faster way to get around oftentimes. Uh, the, big, the big downside is uh, I would like, I have zero interest in riding a bike no more because your chance of getting hit by a car and dying, especially here in LA is uh, quite high. You're like, this is a problem with bicycles, motorcycles, et cetera. Um, you could be the world's best bicyclist, the most safest, best person, whatevs. <laughs> But it just takes one uh, person in a car, which is like, <laughs> what did I call it a flesh bullet? <laughs> flesh bullets. It's just like, just takes one idiot or even one smart people who just text me while driving to kill you. Not a fun idea. <laughs> Um, I mean, if you're gonna ride a bicycle, do it in like a bicycle only path. Also the reason why I'm like quite uh, uh, discouraging of the, what, road biking? The, not the road biking, sorry, mountain biking. Actually my mom's, one of my mom's good friends, her husband, going to mountain biking and uh, he was doing it and he fell, snapped his neck, died instantly. And now the poor lady's a widow, super sad. Whoa, look, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. So yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> I think I'm kind of onto something with this, like vlogging, cinema, showing pictures, shooting, kind of like, I call it like Snapchat, art, photo, video things where you see something that's beautiful or interesting and you just record it for a few seconds then move on and uh yeah i think the reason why um uh, video is such a good idea is especially in the world of chat gpt dolly dolly 3 image gpt whatever you want to call it eric gpt ek gpt um is that it's hard to fake video and also ai is not that good at processing video yet um i mean it's gonna get there but um, I think for now, it all matters. It all comes down to creativity. Uh, I think sometimes people make the wrong analogy. People's like, oh, you know, AI fan, take our jobs. I'm like, AI not gonna take your job. Like, <laughs> AI is just like, just think about like really good macros or really good shortcuts or like a really good Google search. I mean, more or less the way that AI works, ChatGPT works is it downloads the whole internet like Google indexes everything, adds some sort of natural language learning models to it. And it, it, it looks like the results that, you you know, you ask it a question, it gives you a result. Um, it's just based on a distillation of all the information out there. So I just think of it like a super, super mega computer, uh, Dimmer Watson on Jeopardy. Yeah, kind of those vibes. Um, but AI, the downside of AI, not even downside, like the limitations of AI is AI cannot be philosophical because AI cannot posit importance. It could tell you how to do X, Y, and Z, 
but it cannot tell you why it's important or whether you should do it, right? So uh, AI could tell you how to do, you know, how to cook a lamb burger, but it cannot tell you whether you should be eating lamb and how much meat you should be eating, uh, etc. cetera. Um, hmm. Metro La Cienega Jefferson. This new complex here is pretty fun. Yeah, life in LA is effing great. Like, actually, uh, you know, I'm gonna vlog here more. I like, I like being stimulated by the chaos. The more chaos, the better. Maximum light, the better. Um, yeah, I think, uh, especially Culver City, maximum walking. Uh, so yeah, so uh, some things to uh, think and consider. Um, so first and foremost, uh, it seems that, I mean like more so than the Bay Area, even New York, I'm like, bro, <laughs> like move to LA, LA's the best. I'm like, I wanna live here forever. Um, I mean, it's like one of those nice things that like, I don't have to live here forever. I'm not committed to living here forever, but you know, like at the end of the day, I'm, uh, I'm kind of an LA boy. Me and Cindy will both went to UCI's undergrads. Um, yeah, I'm like super LA, super LA life. And it's uh, the only place on the planet where you could always just kind of be uh, out walking around. Like the nice thing with LA, I mean, LA actually does get cold. I mean, it comes, when it comes down to it, it's a desert, but it never gets that cold, which is uh, a nice thought. Yeah, this like cumulus district thing is uh, quite impressive. And also low key, some inside uh, Intel. Uh, just between you and me. Uh, Apple is low-key buying out Culver City. Yeah, look at this nice little street photo opportunity, right? Uh, and, you know, app, uh, Amazon, too. Apparently, uh, uh, there's like a... In 2019, there's like a big ribbon-cutting ceremony. Uh, you know, uh, Jeff Bezos showed up. Tim Cook was there, etc. Um, and yeah, so I think it's a good time to move to Culver City, invest in Culver City, specifically Culver City, because I mean, like, it's like so walkable, so family friendly. The public schools here are great. Uh, elementary school is good. You know, come come here and move your kids here. Don't don't live in Loser Irvine or Orange County. Uh, <laughs> and also, also like one of the misconceptions, people say, like, oh yeah, like. LA just like so dirty and homeless people like, like you you like you like soft OC people you have no idea it's like you gotta come here for yourself yeah like a lot of like interior construction that haven't been occupied yet this place is going to be popping um uh yeah actually the park situation here is way 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 better you're next to Beverly Hills uh etc great natural light um and yeah I think uh for me at the end of the day Wow, look at these things, right? Isn't it crazy? Uh, yeah, the more the more natural light, the better. Maximum natural light. I, I think love the light. To me, like, sun is God, the sun God. Light is happy. Like, to me, like, my definition of happiness is very simple. To me, happiness is just uh, natural light, brightness, even... Uh, when I was thinking about the happiest I personally been was living in Providence, Rhode Island. Kind of like this minimalistic floor to ceiling windows. Maximum light is what I love the most. Why? Uh, you know, talking from my friend Don Dillon and uh, shout out to Jose. Um, I think like for me, like I'm very, uh, how do you say, like, I need high stimulation to kind of get me going. It's cool. So as a consequence, if I have low stimulation, I uh, I can't get going, right? And so for me, uh, the the big benefit of walking around maximum sunlight, you know, whatever's kind of kind of gets me going, um, gets me vlogging. But also, just a pro tip: you want to get vlogging. Dude, just use your iPhone, like, it's so easy. Or just use your Android, your Pixel, your Samsung, whatever. Uh, my big pro tip is uh, use the back-facing camera. So I'm using the iPhone SE, 
So the general idea is uh, don't use the selfie camera because it's kind of distracting. Just hold it behind, just pointing towards you. You can use the ultra wide mode with the normal. I'm just using, I have the iPhone SE, so there's only one camera. Real men, real Spartan men only use iPhone SEs. Uh, the big question is uh, whether or not you get a new iPhone Pro to make you more productive or not. That's the trillion, $10 trillion question. Um, I mean, I might, I might test it because I'm kind of, I'm a little bit low-key curious, not like super curious. But uh, the big problem is ever since the new iOS update, iPhone and iPad, like the iPhone and iPad is so effing slow. Like it takes a quadru like, yo, Apple, you guys got to fix this ASAP or else uh, Eric Kim going to jump ship and switch to the other uh, less desirable Android Pixel. It's like, it's getting so bad. I'm like thinking about switching. Uh, rock mill. Yo, check out these arts. This is so beautiful. Look at that. So fire. I love that. Wow, look at these natural artworks. Yeah, I think uh, natural is uh, kind of the way to go. Wow, so wabi sabi. Look at those details. The nice thing is that, like, you, you don't have to own it. You can just come here and walk around and, and vibe out here. Um, Oh, down the street there, there's a new place called Gym Tonic. G-Y-M-T-O-N-I-C. They brand it as like the new luxury gym. So yeah, check check it out. Might be might be a cool option. Actually, uh, a big thing I've been just kind of discovering for myself is possibly the most critical thing. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that Japanese half wheel stone. So wabi-sabi. Um, yeah, what I'm starting to realize is that the most critical thing with gyms and places and whatever is just hygiene. Hygiene means the art of health in uh, ancient Greek. Um, and just simple thing, it's just like, how clean are the, 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 the toilets, right? And to me, this is such a critical thing because whether we like it or not, oh yeah, look at that, isn't that, like, isn't that pure art? Yeah, I'm just gonna do some more artwork. Oh, look at that. Look at that stone tub. It looked like someone sold that. Oh, so, so epic. Yeah, yeah LA's, LA's the place to be, guys. Um, Just walk, watch out for the crack uh, crack pipes on the floor. Um, for these too. Yeah, actually, the something I've been observing just here on the ground too. A lot of these places are actually for lease. There's like so many empty creative studio places. So... Yeah, me pop-ups, you know, off the grid is kind of a better idea. I catch you a nice sunlight, nice natural lights. Um, and, uh, oh, yeah, just better to rent than to own. Better to rent in an insanely desirable neighborhood. Hopefully with a good landlord and a good unit. Than to own in, like, uh, okay plus, like, pretty decent place. It's just my personal thought. And also anti-management lifestyle. Uh, the more stuff you got to manage, the worse. Even like, you know, I'm all about electric cars and Tesla, Elon Musk, everything. But personally, at least for now, I personally wouldn't want. I don't know. The the inconvenience of having to be charging your your car all the time just seems like a little bit inconvenient. And also, I got the Prius for free, so it's like can't be free, right? Um, yeah, so yeah, I, I think uh, even a, a random thought I had was less than your phone. Maybe the speed of your internet connection is more important, or your your phone connection. Like, I mean, personally, I think T-Mobile sucks. Don't get T-Mobile. Probably better to get Verizon. Whatever. Like, Verizon is so desperate to get customers right now. Uh, yeah, it just seems like the strength of the 5G, 5G plus is way better. Like, I always joke, and I always say that, yo, what is this Black Boulder thing? I need to go research this. I always joke, I'm just like, <laughs> you know, like, you got T-Mode, did it. It's like, the Wi-Fi, it's not just like fake Wi-Fi, it's not real Wi-Fi, or sorry, not real 5Gs, it's like, I call it fake 5Gs because it says 5G on the notification. But it is like super slow and like, 
it doesn't it doesn't do anything right so as a consequence uh you know we're playing around with the fake wi-fi's uh the fake 5g's it's just way too slow and yeah it's it's tedious uh, having a faster 5g connection seems like a good one yeah like that america needs brains yeah for at least hmm Man, nice, nice light. Also, even like Elon Musk, so smart. It's like sunlight is the best disinfectant. Asian people know the forever. That's facts. Or like even a funny hippie thing that me and Cindy been doing. Because I actually like, I don't like buying all these. Like, even the Myers spray stuff, like that fake perfume stuff. It's just like, kind of gives me a headache. I just don't like the way it smells. Very simple. Just use simple <laughs> like white vinegar. You know, the ones you buy at Costco. Just mix it with some water and just spray around the surfaces. Seems to work fine. Um, or baking soda, right? Uh, shout out to uh, Simon Jacobs. He's like, here we gotta make a rap song called Bacon Soda, but 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 Bacon Soda. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, so some more more thoughts to come. Uh, so some simple creative ideas. Start walking, and then you get the creative ideas. Don't sound your butt. <laughs>